Sorry, I've got nothing to push you. So I'm staying to the location of the Robert Jason Bell, associate pastor of Life Church, for about a place of the United States flag. I think you have to live in a country that we can worship you freely. I think you have to live in a town that still keeps biblical principles as paramount, as important, and as vital to this entire community. Lord, I thank you for the men and women in this room. I pray that you give them wisdom. I pray that you give them discernment. And I pray that you help them not just make good decisions, but good decisions, Lord, throughout this meeting. May you be the catalyst. And may you have a present Lord in your name. Thank you. 
financing, uh, specifically $7 million incentive. The available ample money if the project is developed and built, and then it goes on to the tax rolls. Uh, once it's completed, that available increment will be available for the project not to exceed a 20 year period to pay back that $7 million loan to, build, uh, to help build the parking, or the parking garage. And that's the permitted cost for this project, it is essentially the 300, 317 space parking garage, sidewalks, and decorative roof, uh, street lights in the area. And also, part of the project, there'll be 21 additional on street parking spaces. Uh, the economic impact plan itself establishes the plan area. And again, I'll show you a map in a second of the plan area, but the economic impact plan in the tenth, the city will continue to receive the base tax on the, the property itself in this plan area. Right now, the taxes the city currently receives uh, in 2017 on these properties was $10,645. Uh, the project itself, if uh, approved, if this economic impact plan is approved and moves forward, it has to begin construction by July 1 of 2019, and the completion date for the project, which is the hotel, the retail shopping, and the parking garage is December 31, 2021. Uh, just to be clear, the city and the county is not issuing any debt uh, related to this project. Um, the TIF would be available uh, when the project is complete and operational, complete operational being when uh, someone can park in the parking garage and when the hotel is complete where someone can stay overnight in the hotel. Additional benefits for the, uh, from the project that would generate additional sales tax for the city and the county, hotel motel tax for the county. Uh, they're estimated to have 100 jobs related to this project once it's developed. Uh, the parking garage itself, we all know there's parking issues on the west side, so there'd be 317 spaces. Those spaces would be available to the public for bad market rates. Um, it also just help promote activity and tourism in the downtown area. Uh, the plan area, again, this is a map, an aerial view of the area. As you can see, it goes from uh, Depot Street on the north. Uh, all the way south to uh, East Spring Street, and then it's bounded on the west by uh, the left street, Oak, and Cedar on the east side. So that's the entire plan area. Uh, it would be subject to the uh, TIF, and I'll be happy to try to answer any questions that you might have about the project. Thank you. Is there a motion? Second motion. A second. Let's make to the motion. That's this one here. Now, the question is Dr. Bashir and the other is kind of my experience with the HR and the council. But uh, I'm sorry, I have his own agenda. It's for the summer when it would be on the agenda. But you know, there's a handful of them that you've seen in a four year period of time that really make a significant difference in terms of the future of our community. And my sense is this is one of them. I'm very excited about this project uh, for all the reasons that Mike has stated. Position where we're being pretty good as a community, bringing directly folks to our, our hometown here and showing them the experience of Edinburgh and saying good things about us. That's what they mean. It doesn't matter really how much they don't want to survive. So I think that will enhance our environment in the downtown community in West Side. And uh, I'm excited about them being part of our environment and excited about seeing making progress. I think it's going to be huge for our community. Thank you, Mayor. Yes, Mr. Morgan. Uh, yeah, when this project was first brought up several years ago, I was a meeting. Excited about this because it is about downtown revitalization. Not only because I serve on the city council, but I also serve on the board of Cityscape, which is the main street, which is about downtown revitalization. Um, people, when they get into a downtown away from the interstate, they marvel at Dublin Park and what our downtown offers. Uh, the highest of this use was what this was at one time, because you have to realize that the railroad was the high 40 of its day. It's changed in this area has changed in you know the, the idea of building a hotel convention center is outstanding. The city about twenty years ago was very interested in a convention center, it was getting very close to doing something about it. And the city of 
responsible financially for it. And it's a, a blessing as far as we're concerned as the city. Uh, of course, you're going to have jobs when this is under construction and you're going to maintain uh, to roughly 100 people to be employed. When we bring people in, whether it's uh, for an event or a holiday or because it's very close to Tennessee Tech and the hospital, Cedar Street feeds right into this area. Uh, and I think not only will this improve people coming to our downtown, but through collateral benefit to the property owners around us, you will see a stimulation of those properties increase and the property values go up. I'm hoping to see a mini downtown Nashville happen in Cookville. Uh, a lot of people are you know, maybe complaining Cookville's changing. Yes, it's changing for the better, but we're growing and we want to grow responsibly. And I think this is a great step in our downtown to make it final. Thank you.
scientists have purchased a sanitation course of red cell source provider for other books. I don't know. We can also use green metal as the provider for the sanitation cards we use. Um, we like to purchase 350 cards and 280 pins. We offer a total price of 29,764 dollars. This is a budget item. Thank you, Mr. Lushen. So, uh, sorry, we were still sitting in discussion. Yes, sir. 
Thank you. 